Hello everyone, Matt from Model Minutes here, and it's that time of year again. It's time to take a look at the Airfix range announcement for 2023 and share with you my thoughts on this year's range. And if I'm being honest, it's pretty good. So let's get started on this and all information that I'm giving you in this video is believed to be correct at the time of release. Naturally, there may be more information out there through the official uh, channels, but for now, this is what we have or I have and details may change without notice. So as as the months go by, paint scheme, decal schemes might change, etc. So just if you want to find out a bit more about a particular kit, make sure you take a look on the relevant websites. So we're going to start off by looking at the new releases. These are the brand new tools and introductions to the range. I thought about putting this at the end, but I thought you guys just want to know what's new. So let's get these done first. So starting off, we've got quick build. So the first quick build here is the London Taxi LEVCTX. Personally, I'm not a massive fan of the quick builds, but I understand the appeal that they have to others. A great introduction to the scale modeling world, these snap together kits are quite attractive. And I've even had a chance at packing one in the factory here in the UK, which was quite an experience. So this taxi is expected in summer of this year and it's retailing for just under 20 pounds, so it won't break the bank. But there is a slightly more exciting quick build coming up next, and that is the Transport for London new Route Master. This is a bigger kit, so naturally that's reflected in the price, and it consists of 88 parts. And I think you'll agree from the artwork there, it does look rather good. Of all the quick builds that I've been given or had in the past, this is one I would actually be tempted to buy and have a go at. Anyway, moving on to the actual scale model plastic kits, we have a brand new starter set in the Land Rover Series 1 pickup. Retailing for around £15, this will make another good introduction to the modelling hobby, particularly as it comes with paints. Being of the scale of 1 to 43, it consists of 39 parts and is expected in the autumn. This is a kit that I would be interested in having a go at. It would be particularly good, in my opinion, for a weathering practice, seeing as it's something that goes off road. Up next, we've got a new tool, Aston Martin DB5. So those James Bond fans out there will be quite pleased with this one. Again, designed as a starter set, so it comes with paints. It's got a low part count at 29, and it comes in at the same scale of 1 to 43. Another vehicle is the McLaren 765LT. Again, this is a 143 scale starter set and it only consists of 35 parts. This is due around the spring and I'm told that it's going to be moulded in orange plastic. So if you don't want to paint it, you don't have to. And there is one more starter set to take a look at and this is one that I'm quite interested in. The Lockheed Martin F-35B Lightning II. And it's been a while since Airfix has done a more modern fighter jet. Retailing for around £20, this is a moderate price, and I'm told that it comes with a display stand. And the display stand has two different legs or supports, which will allow you to display it in a hover mode or in a sort of in-flight banking position. And I think that's reflected in the part count there because it also comes with landing gear raised or lowered, and you can position the engine in the hover mode. This should be one of the first kits that we see of the new range in this year. Moving on to the vehicle fans now, a brand new Ferret Scout Car Mark II in 135 scale, retailing for about £24. Having seen some of the images online for this, it does look incredibly detailed, and it's something that I could be tempted to get. So those armour fans out there, you have got something in the range this year. Moving on to what's possibly the big announcement of the new tools this year, it is the Fairy Gannet AS1-4 in 148 scale. And I've seen some of the artwork for this, some of the renders, and it is incredibly detailed. There's some lovely rivet detail, there's lots of internal stuff, and it even comes with those Z folding wings, which is going to be incredible to see in model form. Naturally, that's reflected in the price being £55 and having over 300 parts. This should be seen towards the end of the year. 
Moving on to the final new release, and I believe this might be designed off the back of the KT Ambulance we saw last year. This is the World War II British Army truck. Retailing for just under £34, it consists of 174 parts and is in 135th scale. We should see this towards the beginning of the year, but as you can see at the moment, we don't have any artwork for this one. In my opinion, this kind of kit would be perfect for dioramas or little scenes like that. And that's it for the brand new tools. So let's move on to the re-releases. So these are products that have been in the range before in some way or another. They might be updated with some new parts or a new decal scheme. So let's get straight into it. And first up, we've got a quick build McLaren. So I believe this is based off of the earlier McLaren P1, just with some slightly different parts. And it is of the normal quick build standard. Coming in with a fairly low part count and retailing at a sort of pocket money price. I do believe that this was tooled in 2015, maybe we've updated parts more recently to depict this version. As far as I'm aware, it comes from the similar age as the next kit, which is the quick build Lamborghini Aventador. Probably butchered that there. This quick build kit has been seen before in a different color. This time though, they've molded it in yellow. Moving on to the next one, and it's the same kind of affair. It's a McLaren P1, and this time it's molded in white. And if you're looking forward to seeing these quick builds, you should see them in the summer. Moving on, as before, to the actual plastic model kits. We start off, I think, in price order. So we'll start at the bottom with the Mitsubishi A6 M2B0 in 172nd scale. This is expected in the middle of the year and is retailing for just under £9. This is a 2011 tooling and you can expect to see it in a brand new paint scheme. Following this theme, we move on to the P51D Mustang, which has been a frequent inclusion in the Airfix range. This time, however, it will be featuring a new paint scheme. Generally quite a nice and detailed model to build. I've had a go at a few of these in the past. But moving on to something that I really do want to get my hands on is the Hawker Tempest Mark V in post-war colours. This is last year's tooling, so they designed and released this originally last year, but now, this time round, we've got it in a slightly different scheme. And as previously mentioned, some of these models are going to have more than one scheme. I don't have that information in this video, so if you'd like to find out more, make sure you go and take a look elsewhere. The website, the Airfix website, didn't quite have that information when I was making this video. But as you can see at the moment, this Hawker Tempest at least has one, and it's a plain silver finish. Moving on to the Folland Nat T1. This is another kit that's been around in the Airfix range a few times. I actually have this one in the stash, I'm pretty sure, and I've built a few of the starter set gift set versions previously. It is a very nicely detailed and easy kit to build, and if you want to get your hands on this one, it should be available in the summer. Up next, we've got the Supermarine Spitfire Mark 5C. This is the version that was tooled back in 2020, but this time you can see that it's sporting its clipped wings, which was an option that Airfix tooled into their design when they first came about designing it. This one should be retailing for around £12, and we should see it in the summer. Up next, we've got the Messerschmitt ME262. This is another aircraft which has been in and out of the range since 2017 when it was first tooled. Again, this is featuring a few different paint schemes and we should see that in the summer. The Messerschmitt BF110 is back in its tropical guise. This time it's retailing for just under £20 and it is the 2010 tooling with the extra parts for the tropical version. But let's now move on to something else with twin engines, which is the de Havilland Mosquito PR16. And this has new parts for the photo reconnaissance version and it will have two paint schemes included. This is based off of the 2021 tooling and it comes with 161 parts. This is something that I could be interested in getting as it's a little bit more interesting than just a normal mosquito. The Harrier GR1 or AV8A is making a comeback this year. It's the 2013 tooling, and you should be able to see it in the summer. And as far as I'm aware, it does have a couple of interesting paint schemes to go with it. 
Here we've got the de Havilland Tiger Moth in 148 scale, which is the 2019 tooling. There seems to be a bit of a theme with the Airfix releases this year, which I'm pretty happy with, and they've gone for slightly more unusual paint schemes. So here we've got a Royal Navy aircraft landing on a carrier. And speaking of interesting schemes, we're going to move on to the Hawker Sea Fury in 148 scale, another good kit from Airfix. This one, I'm led to believe, will come with at least two paint schemes, one of them being a bright orange one, which will make a very attractive model. This is the 2018 tooling, and we should expect to see it in the summer. Another re-release is a Blackburn Buccaneer in 172nd scale. This time, though, it's going to be in a Gulf War paint scheme, and we should see that in the summer. For those of you who like bombers, you won't be disappointed. We've got the first of a couple big World War II bombers now. This is the North American B-25C-D Mitchell, which is based on the 2018 tooling. Retailing for just under £34 and consisting of 165 parts, we should see that in the autumn. The de Havilland Vampire makes a comeback in 148 scale, consisting of 124 parts and retailing for just under £34. We should again see this one in the summer in a couple of interesting paint schemes. And the McDonnell Douglas Phantom also makes a reappearance this year in different paint schemes again. Naturally, the previous ones we've just looked at, they haven't finalised the artwork yet, so they've still got placeholder images. This kit, though, is based off the 2017 tooling, and I have heard good things about it. Another big bomber, retailing for just under £40, we've got the Vickers Wellington Mark 1A slash C in 172nd scale. I am led to believe that this is a rather detailed kit, and it is something I would be interested in building, if I could find the space to do it. Moving on to another big bomber, we've got the Dam Busters Lancaster, and I'm told this time around it's in new paint schemes, including the one for Guy Gibson. I do have one of the Dam Buster Lancasters in the stash from the previous releases, and it does look to be quite a good kit, but as you can expect, it's going to be quite a large build. This is based on the 2012 tooling and naturally comes with the parts for the bouncing bomb. Moving on to the next one, we have the Hawker Hunter in 148 scale. This is based off the 2019 tooling, but has new parts to represent the FGA9, FR10 or GA11 versions. We should see that one in the summer. Another jet aircraft making a reappearance is the Gloucester Meteor F8. This one is in 148 scale and is based on the 2016 tooling, which we should see in the autumn. Again, I am led to believe that this comes with a couple of interesting paint schemes, so make sure you check that out as more information is released. And now we have the 2022, so last year's tooling for the Blackburn Buccaneer, but this time it has new parts for the RAF version and is going to come with four different paint schemes. So for those of you who saw the naval version come out last year, you won't be disappointed because the RAF version is here now. We have a couple of gift sets or bundles, and the first one is the Dam Buster's 80th anniversary gift set. This consists of the 2012 tooling for the Lancaster and the 2023, this year, F-35B Lightning II. I am led to believe that it also comes with the trolley and a uh, the sort of supports for the bomb as part of the set along with some paints glue and some brushes and if you want that one it should be out at the beginning of the year the next gift set bundle consists of the f-35p lightning again but this time it is mixed up with the spitfire mark V, representing a then and now theme showing aircraft that the RAF used in the past and currently. Again, this one should be due out at the beginning of the year. And for the classic kit re-releases, that's it. So let's move on now to the Vintage Classic range. And if you're not aware what the Vintage Classic range is, these are the old toolings from before 
Airfix was owned by Hornby. So anything before 2010 is now considered a vintage classic. So this goes back way back into the legacy of the Airfix range. And if I'm honest, it's a really good range because it doesn't give you any false hope you go into it knowing exactly how old the, the kit is and what to expect you don't expect a brand new box but with an old kit in it so one that a lot of people have been waiting for and asking for for a very long time and i don't think it's been seen in recent years is the bond bug this is a 130 second kit and it was originally tooled in 1971 and retailing for £34, that is considerably less than the second-hand market prices that this has been going for recently. This consists of 64 parts, and I am informed that the clear parts are brandly new tooled parts. Something to do with they lost the original ones or they weren't serviceable, so they had to redesign and re-engineer the clear parts to make this kit work again. If you want this one, get your pre-order in because it's due in the summer. Up next, we've got a dogfight double. And if you don't know what a dogfight double is, it's a box set of two aircraft that were adversaries at some point. So this vintage classic consists of the Fokker DR1 and Bristol F2B, and it retails for a very modest price of £10.99. The kits, I believe both of them, were tooled back in 1957. So don't go into this one expecting absolute wonders of plastic because well they're probably not going to be but they do consist of only 33 and 24 parts respectively so it's probably not going to be too difficult of a build something i could be interested in getting but the next kit i would definitely be interested in getting i shouldn't i shouldn't buy any more kits i've got enough but this is one that i would be interested in and it's the fairy rotodyne airfix did hint that they were bringing this back a little while ago they put a picture of their tooling online saying who'd like to see this come back and you know that's pretty much as far as it went but here it is it's coming back and we should see that around the autumn of this year retailing for just over 20 pounds that's a fair price i'd say for this rather exclusive kit that hasn't been seen in the range for a very long while however tooled in 1959 I wouldn't go into this kit expecting an absolutely amazingly detailed model, but it is something that I'm led to believe is an Airfix exclusive with no other companies offering this kind of model. Moving on, we've got another beautiful looking model, well, from the artwork at least, and it's the Great Western Paddle Steamer in 1 to 180 scale, so it'll be quite a large kit. Retailing for just under £33, this is a 1968 tooling and it consists of 208 parts. I could be tempted to get this one. I don't have much experience of building ships and it does look rather interesting to do. And I'm sure it'd look really attractive on a little diorama C vignette. But I suppose we'll have to watch this space because they're not due until the autumn. Another vintage classic that I'd be interested in getting and have seen... Uh, around but not necessarily in the shops is the bristol bloodhound so this is an air no sorry a surface to air missile and it comes with a land rover a trolley and some figures well at least the old kit did um, so if they're releasing it exactly the same it should come with those items tooled in 1960 it consists of 64 parts and it's at a price of just under 11 pounds which isn't going to break the bank but once again you might be waiting a little while for this one because it's not due until the autumn a, another vintage kit that i know some people have been waiting for is the auster antarctic and it's retailing for a very modest price of six pounds 99 it is, however, a 1958 kit, so it's one of the older kits in the Airfix range, and it only consists of 39 parts, so it's not going to be a particularly big build. Again, this is due in the summer, so a little bit of a wait if you wanted this one, so get your pre-orders in. An aircraft that I've always liked the look of, though, is the Brewster Buffalo. So the 172nd scale version is making a reappearance this year, and this is something that I should probably put a pre-order in. This is due towards the beginning of the year, and I am led to believe it's not too bad for a 1972 tooling. But I guess we'll have to wait and see when they are in the shops. 
And we've got one more vintage classic to look at, and I'm sure you're probably thinking, why haven't we seen a 124th scale kit yet? Well, here we go. We've got the Junkers JU87B Stuka in 124th scale. Retailing for just under £100, this is the 1975 tooling and it consists of 344 parts. I am led to believe that it is a very big model and it comes fairly well detailed despite the fact that it is an old tooling. Personally, not something that I would be getting as it's probably a bit big and a bit time consuming for builds that I like to do, but never say never. And that, as far as I'm aware, is it. Apologies if I've missed anything, but at the time I made this video, that seemed to be everything. So let's summarize what we pretty much had. And as far as I could tell, there were two new tool quick builds, two new tool aircraft, and five new tool vehicles. So the vehicle guys, if you like cars, uh, there was the, the scout tank thing and the, the truck, then you've been quite lucky this year. Re-release wise, naturally it was very aircraft heavy with 20 of those coming back out and two aircraft sets. There were however three quick builds and in the vintage range we had two vehicles. I counted the Bloodhound one as a vehicle because it's got a Land Rover in it. Uh, one ship and five aircraft. So those sort of armor or ship uh, modelers probably not going to be that happy with the range this year but on the whole i'd say that i am pretty happy with what there was that's about 42 products if my maths is correct and going off of the information regarding the paint schemes i am very impressed with what is being offered because it's taking normal looking aircraft and making them look different what I think Airfix have done well this year is they've balanced the range and they've decided to do things a little bit more interesting as regards their paint schemes. But anyways, let me know in the comments what will you get and what did you think of the range this year? There are a number of vintage classics there that I would definitely be interested in getting. I know I shouldn't. I shouldn't put my pre-orders in. Um, I, I, my wife will probably kill me, uh, but I am probably going to put a pre-order in for that Rotodyne, the Brewster Buffalo, and I could be tempted to get the uh, the Sea Fury in the red paint scheme, um, but I really should build some models before I do so. With that said, though, I think it's time to thank my patron and channel member supporters for the extra support they give the channel a massive thanks to these guys on screen if you'd like to find out more of what becoming a patron or channel member means take a look at the link in the description alternatively if you'd like to join our community make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on so you don't miss a modeling upload as mentioned, I don't have all of the information here, so if you'd like to find out more, take a look at the Airfix official range launch, and they've even got some test shots and some paint scheme artwork in their video. Um, I will link it down below. Or alternatively, take a look at a good friend of the channel, Moz6510 Models. He did a live stream as it went live. I even dropped in for a little bit, and we discussed the range as it was being announced and there was even a special guest in the form of the researcher luke and head of brand dale from airfix who dropped in and answered some questions so please take a look at those two videos if you'd like to find out more and with that it's time to end this video here a massive thank you to you for watching this one and i will see you on the workbench again next time